Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Amber Living Vlog. This is Beyond Film School, and I am Amber. And today we're talking about professionalism in the film industry. Happy Saturday, first of all. I don't normally make videos on Saturday, but I am in the park with my dog. There she is, puppy dog. Hey, doggy. <laughs> topic has been eating away at me because I've been thinking about it ever since my shoot on Wednesday. Uh, I did a commercial. I wanted to do this before, but now I feel like I have to address it because one of my crew members, best way to put it is that she just did not have a certain level of professionalism and it just pissed me off on the day. It really did. What is professionalism? I always like looking up the definition of things. It's basically... It's the competence or skill expected by a professional. And I gotta say, this person that I encountered on set just, I mean, wasn't prepared and she wasn't paying attention and just on her phone when there was a scene where there was a lot of prop resetting and I was just, every time I had to do her job, I just got more and more infuriated. And that one person totally derailed my time, totally derailed my day. We went an hour past my schedule and that really pisses me off as an AD. If you're on set and you're hired to do a job, just do your job. If you are just blatantly oblivious to what you should be doing, I mean, honestly, you should still be learning and you should not be, you know, in a paid position where you're expected to be like, I don't know, the head of the department, which is crazy, right? For for example, as professional as an AD, I am expected to, you know, keep everyone on schedule, make sure everyone knows what's going on, try to make, you know, everything safe, you know, safety first. And if I'm doing my job, everyone knows what's going on, things are going according to schedule. I am pushing people. I'm trying to push the day along. I'm trying to push everyone um, to make sure we finish on time. Uh, we don't go into overtime. We don't go over budget, blah, 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 blah. And if I'm not doing those things, then I'm a shitty AD, you know? And I'm, I'm, I'll I'm, be the first to admit that not every day that I'm on set, I am a perfect AD because there are some days where just I'm, you know, I'm human. I'm not going to be perfect. There are some days where I'm like superhuman and I'm like spot on and I know what's going. And like, I mean, the day is going great and I'm a really, really good AD. So, I mean, we all have our bad days, but Jesus Christ, I expect just the minimal amount that it would take for you to do your job. I mean, hustling is one thing. Doing your job is, is like, it's like hustling is a step above. It's like, you're going to do your job and you're going to do it quick and efficient. That's hustling. You're going to move fast and that's great. The goal is to do everything quickly, right? And I, and that, I think that people forget that. If you're working in the film industry, you need to be moving as quickly as possible. Not so much where you're like running, but in so much in terms of, you know, you're not lollygagging you have to do things quickly and I feel like some people just forget that and it's like good I want like as an AD people who move move slow drive me insane and I feel like me as a person I have like no patience for people who just move slow people who drive slow I me mean, I like to move in the fast lane move in the fast lane people attitude right attitude also is linked into professionalism just be in a, at least a good state of mind have a good attitude make the best of the situation, be a problem solver, don't be a complainer, because there are so many people on set that you're gonna encounter that just wanna bitch about the day, bitch about what went wrong, and, it, and they just put a downer on the whole day, and it, like, no one likes that. We can commiserate and that, you know, we can relate and we can, you know, vent sometimes, but like, there are those people, there are so, there's those people that will just complain the entire day, and it doesn't matter, you know, who it was or what's going right or you know it, it doesn't matter they're just gonna find something to, to complain about don't be that person we got to talk about it right we got to talk about um, you know sexual harassment and sexual assault and you know don't hit on people it's very simple you're working you're on set that's the workplace there's no time to be fucking kicking it to anybody you shouldn't be flirting with anyone or anything like that you should just be doing your job I don't care if they're a fucking supermodel they should not you should not be commenting on their appearance as far as I'm concerned um, guy or girl goes both ways you know if someone looks good keep that shit to yourself wait till you're at 
you know, rap party or the bar after. Like, hey, you look great today. Whatever. Um, it makes people feel uncomfortable. I'll just say that. And it works both ways. I've heard it from men. I've heard it from women. When you comment on people's appearance, it's kind of weird. It's like, if you're giving me a compliment today and then you didn't yesterday, did that mean that yesterday I looked like shit? <laughs> I mean, I, I would like not to hear those things just because, I mean, I'm trying to focus. And when I get comments like that, it distracts me. And it's like, what? Wait, it, t it throws me off my mental game. And I'm like, wait, I'm thinking about the next shot. What's happening? Why are you commenting on my hair right now? Or the fact that I you know, it didn't wear glasses or the fact that I wore my glasses today and yesterday I wore my contacts. It's like, why the hell are you commenting on those things? It's really fucking weird. Some people don't like swearing or cursing on set and I definitely do and I really try to keep it to a minimum. If I don't hear a lot of it, if I don't hear any of it, I try to keep it, you know, to a minimum, you know, so that's another thing. Uh, cursing, some people don't like cursing and swearing, uh, whatever you call it. Some people call it different things, uh, you know, Dirty mouth. No one likes a dirty mouth. Some, you know, some people don't. So, I mean, I will say some outrageous shit that makes people laugh, but if they don't like swearing, it's not, it's not professional on my part. And I know that. So it, it really depends on what set you're on. Be on time. If your call time, and this goes for actors, it goes for background, it goes for crew, it goes for, for producers, directors, anybody that is on that damn call sheet, anyone that's on that call sheet, Whatever your call time is, you should be there at that time. Now, there's a rule that I necessarily don't believe in. It's that whole, if you're 15 minutes early, you're on time. And if you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you're fired. Well, I don't adhere to that. Because sometimes there are locations that will not allow you to be in them before whatever call time, right? So say you have a call time at seven, location doesn't open till seven. So why the fuck do you want to be there early, right? There's no sense. There's literally going to be waiting around for 15 minutes if you're there 15 minutes early and you can't be let, let into location. You're wasting your time. So all I ask is for everyone, at least on my sets, just be on time. And if you're going to be late, maybe there's a train delay. Maybe there's a bus delay. Maybe you got stuck in traffic. Maybe there was an accident. Shit happens. I understand that. And there are some people on certain sets that have like zero tolerance for that. But I know that we live on a planet, a planet that things happen and people are human. No one's perfect. I mean, if you overslept and you forgot to set your alarm, that's on you. And I don't tolerate that shit. But if you know, things that are out of your control happen to you. I understand that. And people are human. I know that shit happens. Um, just, I expect a courtesy text or a call saying, Hey, I am so, and so I'm sorry. I'm going to be late. Professionalism. Do it. Do your job. Do it well. Do your job and do it well. Do what's expected of you. Do it efficiently. Do it fast. <laughs> We're not asking for a lot here. <laughs> Mind your mouth. Be on time. And don't hit on people. Don't flirt with people. And, you know, set's not a dating scene, basically. That all goes into being professional on set. I think that's it. I think that's all I got for this video on being professional in the film industry. I feel like uh, lately I've had a lot of things going on. And, you know, I... Okay, PA course is happening August 18th. The deadline is July 30th. Now, there is an application process. It's only a few questions you have to answer. Just so I, ha I know a bit about you and so I can kind of gauge if you're right for the program, whatever. And, you know, I'm not asking for paragraphs. I'm not asking for paragraphs, but the, the link will be below if you are interested in the program. Check out my website, beyondfilmschool.com. Uh, I have all kinds of stuff there. I have networking events for this summer. Uh, it, okay, I gotta do a video on networking. That's gonna be coming up next. It's, it's, I feel like it's super, super important. I have a video on networking, but I gotta update it. I'm gonna be having a podcast coming. I think I might have mentioned this before. Me and my friend, uh, I met her through working at this company, this distribution company I worked at, and we've been friends ever since. And she's also in the film industry. We're going to be having a podcast. It's going to be called um, Go to Two Podcast. Because, you know, when you're on a walkie, you go to two, you hear all, you like eavesdrop on all, all like the gossip and shit. So, um, new podcast coming. Um, we have a test, a podcast sound test next week. And, uh, I mean, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we get our first episode, um, you know, our first podcast episode soon. Beyond Film School, we've got, you know, resume tips, 
and I do the resume review, but I give you all this free information. Like if you need to just, you know, I need to up upgrade my resume. I need to make it next level type shit. Go to my website. There's a whole page on resume tips. Follow those tips and you won't even need my help. You basically won't even need my help. It's like all laid out right there. Um, and if you do need my help, you know, you can get those services from me if you'd like, if you'd like. More people on my Facebook like my Facebook. I really appreciate it. I have things happening there. Um, I also have um, information going out. If you signed up for the PA Info newsletter, I have another one going out very, very soon. Actually, um, Tuesday morning it's going out and it has a special, lovely uh, discount for the PA course and mentorship. So if you are on the mailing list and you would like a discount, you'd want to apply to the program, you will get 30% off. And I'm not giving you the code here because you got to join the mailing list. I'm kind of obsessed with film memes, so I always ha have those in my uh, newsletter. So I hope you enjoy those. And obviously I'm going to be posting more to my Instagram. I feel like I have it because if I'm like in, the, in a I don't know, mental depressed state. If I'm not having a good day, I don't post, which is horrible. I know I gotta like be more disciplined, but you know, everyone has bad days, right? Everyone, you know, not everyone's perfect. So I've been getting a lot of questions about the PA course. And I don't know if these people watch my videos too, but basically, yo, this lens flare is bothering the shit out of me, by the way. Okay. <laughs> so the PA course, people are asking me about location and, um, housing. And it's like, what I'm going to say is people who are out of town, people who are not in the New York city area, I don't recommend taking my mentorship. And if you want to, that's up to you. You can relocate to New York. And if that's your plan and you want to take my course, more power to you. But here's the thing is, and this is, connected to networking if you are in an area and you are trying to make connections so for example you take a course you take my course in New York City but you're from Louisiana right and then you're here for a few months I get you a few gigs whatever you're on set you learn all about how to be a set PA and all that jazz and you know, how to navigate through the film industry. And then you move back to Louisiana. All the connections you made in New York aren't all that useful now that you've moved because part of relocating for the film industry is, you know, making those connections. And I mean, it happened to me. I moved to LA, I made connections out there, but then when I moved to New York, I had to start all over again. See what I'm saying? So if you're from out of town, if you don't have the intention of staying in New York, at least for a little while, making those connections in film, then I don't, I mean, I don't want to say it's a waste of time because you will learn things. It will be an experience, but I don't want to say, Hey, come all this way, spend all this money, you know, on housing and stuff. And then you don't stay. And then it, it's almost like, you know, you you have to start all over every time you move somewhere, which I mean, it's on you. I don't, I mean, I don't recommend it. I don't want to say it's a waste, but, um, I feel like it just wouldn't be right for me to say, Hey, yeah, move all the way to New York city and then move all the way back home. So I just wanted to address that. Um, I will put a page frequently asked questions on beyond film school about the mentorship. Cause that seems to be like the number one thing. Some people are from all over and they, and they want to do the New York city course. And, um, I'm not expanding yet to other cities because, you know, I'm not in, I'm, I'm in New York and my connections are here. So you benefit from my connections because I, you know, you are my con, I would be your contact because I'm con connected to others and I'm going to connect you to people that I know. See what, see what I'm saying? It's all about connections, people. It's all about connections in this industry. So that is it for now. Um, any questions, comments, um, questions, comments, concerns, statements, anything, comment below, please. And, uh, also if <laughs> I would love to hear if you guys have been on set, any type of like, like probably like the worst professionalism, <laughs> an example professionalism you, you've seen on set because man, I've seen some crazy shit and I didn't want to go too deep because I don't want to like, you know, call anybody out and be like, yo, this person was X, Y, Z and fuck them. Cause that wouldn't be professional of me, would it? So that's it for now. That is it for uh, this video on professionalism. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, shoot me an email, all that jazz. Um, so that is it for this week. I shall see you guys next time.